I was once followed by cadres for referring to the ACC as uh, River Jordan. I don't think they fully they fully grasped that they are running <laughs> the country. <laughs> I think we've heard allegations of uh, uh, trunks of money being ferried on. Uh, uh, I don't know whether it's presidential or ministerial. I mean, I would love a diplomatic passport. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, would, I, would, I, would, I mean, nobody would search me. Yes, no question asked. Um, what? How, how much? Uh, weed i'm carrying or you, know, yeah. <laughs> or you had to go there you, you don't consider it a drug do you no it's a herb it's a herb it's a herb i mean what differentiates cocaine from it's the process it's the process processing yes okay yes cocaine is processed cocoa the cocoa plant yo it's not a new dawn it's not even it's far from dawn it's still midnight even <laughs> before midnight come rain come sunshine Switch my heart and do you, you will find It's love for you All I got is love for you Oh yeah, yeah There's no lie I will hold you Come over Forever be my lover Woman in the circle I've been wanting you around for a while I've been following you I'm a fan Oh, I'm, I'm humbled yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's an amazing place you have here Thank you very much. Yeah. I, Thank you very much. I just love the the atmosphere. The the ambience, eh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you you guys should have seen earlier he was playing us a few jingles on the guitar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if you are not following the podcast, uh, you're welcome to Amazing Minds. If you're not following the podcast, you can catch the show right here on YouTube uh Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Mondays we put out political content uh as well as Wednesdays and Fridays we do Bible talks. We just released the Bible talks. Uh I hope you guys saw it. We're talking about uh the Godhead. Today we have very uh, to my to my great pleasure we have Michael Zulu in studio with me. How are you doing, sir? I'm very good, Dan, and uh, I'm I'm happy to be here. Uh, we are happy to have you. I hope the family is okay. I have noticed you've got a a baby, <laughs> yes, <laughs> a new baby in the family. We have a grand. I have a grandson, my first grandson. So oh, that's your first. Yes. How does it feel? It's an amazing feeling, eh? <laughs> yeah. It uh, sort of uh, it uh, brings back memories when I had my first child. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I always wonder how parents feel now when they see us and you know we can talk back and argue and they saw us when we were <laughs> Yeah, but amazingly, you know, with uh parents, I don't think we we see the growth in our children sometimes. Oh really? Yeah, we don't notice it, you know. You always yeah. think, yeah, this is my <laughs> my little baby. <laughs> you know. You know that that's I think I can relate with that because there's uh, some friends we had when we were in high school, when we were calling each other boys and girls. Yeah. And recently I was talking with one of my friends that I was with in high school some years back. I think I left high school about 12, 13 years ago. Okay. So he was, he was talking about going to meet a lady we knew back then. Ah. And so he was saying, ah, I'm going to meet this woman. And you know, when you say that for me, it registered as an elderly person, someone yes. who has uh, a family and the likes. Yeah. Then when I saw the person he was going to meet, I said, ah, why did you say woman? This is a girl. <laughs> <is> a girl yeah. <laughs> because anyone in our age group is still a girl. <laughs> we are still girls. And yeah. We'll always be the boys, yeah. Will always be girls. Yeah. So uh, we are we are glad to have you today. We are discussing uh, Honorable Munia Zulu's arrest and release. We are discussing the millimill prices and what the Minister of Agriculture had to say concerning the same. And we'll be asking Mr. Zulu a few questions, or as some of you may know him, Saint Michael. Yes, because <laughs> if you say Mr. Zulu, they'll think you're asking where well, Munia Zulu. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, actually, <laughs> yeah, they are, they are not related, he, he, are you? He, no, he's he's the Mister, I think. They're, so they're he's the he's the Mister. What 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 do we refer to you as? Oh no, not just Michael <laughs> without any title. I haven't heard the name Saint Michael in a while. In a while, yeah, yeah. 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 You, you you know you rebranded. I rebranded, but you know, St. Michael has stuck. It has stuck, eh? Yeah. Everywhere so you everywhere, go. Everywhere, yeah. And you know, especially people from our generation, 
Yeah, they, yeah. They, they they always you know refer to me as Saint Michael. <laughs> Saint Michael. Whenever I hear that name, I always remember the song Willy Willy Willy. Don't be silly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it had some offensive dance. <laughs> it had an offensive dance. We were nearly reprimanded for our dance. Oh, really? Yeah, because we were signing the. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah. We, yes. Recently, you've gotten more into uh, politics and political commentary. I've noticed. Yeah. I have been um, following that that side of you for a while. Um, the bush protests and whatnot. Right. <laughs> and there's, there's this, there's this slogan you use usually. I'll ask you later, later on the show, I'll ask you about it. But I've been following a lot of your, your political commentary. So I feel like, uh, having you here will be a great opportunity to discuss what's going on in the country. Uh, in recent times. But before we get into that, let us look at, I'm sure you guys can see I'm wearing a bomber for in Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's quite cold. <laughs> and we are going to look at some few memes and jokes that people are putting up uh, concerning the weather. So first of all, we have this guy. Apparently, this is a teacher in the rural area. <laughs> Apparently, they're now teaching with blankets on yeah. their backs. <laughs> and then we have uh, this guy. So no. people are now going to the gym, the with, gym blankets. with blankets. Oh, oh wow. wow. I think this would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you ever go to the gym? I, I don't go to the gym, but I do a lot of physical work. I do exercises. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah, I always try to keep in shape. Any exercise with a blanket over your back? No, <laughs> no, but always with a hoodie and uh, uh, socks. Always all, with all a the hoodie. Time, yeah. Then we have <laughs> this one is funny. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Even dogs now are being. <laughs> 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 and my favorite, lastly. Nishta <laughs> All right, let's get into the news. Munia Zulu's uh, arrest and release. So recently we had um, one of our honorables uh, who was arrested. Not so honorable, but uh, Lumezi member of parliament, Munia Zulu, has secured his freedom after spending seven days in police custody in relation to the alleged disappearance of former president Edgar Chagualungu's political advisor, Kaiser Zulu. Mr. Zulu was arrested by the Department of Immigration as a surety for Mr. Kaiser Zulu. Oh, so this is Munia Zulu that was arrested uh, for, um, as a surety uh, for Kaiser Zulu. In this matter, Mr. Kaiser Zulu is accused of failing to appear before the nearest immigration office and surrender a diplomatic passport. Now, uh, guys, before you go and put yourself as a surety for someone who <laughs> has not given you any form of guarantee that they are going to stick around, please be careful. In some, in some uh, professions, if you're a banker, you can lose your job. Uh, and here's what he had to say. But, but I'm told you want to withdraw the surety. Don't be like that. Just be a man. Test the, the prisons and then do be fully packed. <laughs> so, so I, uh, my CV is complete. <laughs> but you know, I was put off by uh, the way you were let down. Who knew that uh, uh, your own brother? Some people even think you are young brother to Kaiza. We used to think Kaiza is because you share the same surname. Yeah, but who is for, for your own young brother? Why would you do something like that? Uh, you see, it's it's like the story of the UPND using the PF as a benchmark in everything that do it. Mm -hmm. So don't use my case to be a benchmark. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that uh, if Kaiza is uh, an irresponsible or human being, then others are also irresponsible. Mm -hmm. There are better human beings than Kaiza. So Kaiza should not be used as a benchmark. We we did everything in good faith. We thought he's a normal human being, but here we are. 
So, yeah, let's be honest. Uh, Honorable Ubinda Given and Honorable Shimbakamwiri, I'm um, one of their sureties, mm -hmm. and obviously, we know they cannot <laughs> run away. Yes. Uh, <laughs> for all we can say about <laughs> this, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> apparently they cannot run away. <laughs> I don't know what your thoughts are on this issue. I, ha, have you been following it? Yes, I've been following it. I mean, it's uh, it's a mixed issue for me. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, there is a uh, there is enough drama yes. around it all, and mm. uh, yeah, political drama. Uh, but also, uh, it brings about uh, a lot of other issues. Uh, for me, I think uh, uh, the first thing it brings out is uh, I think the disregard mm. for the law <laughs> by, <laughs> you know, our colleagues in the leadership bracket. Yes. I think yes. this is a problem mm. in my view we have in Zambia. Mm. I think once you get into the realms of power, then uh, you, you, you yeah, disregard the you law. You become small gods, you know. <laughs> the, that is why people will come and ask, "Do you do you know who I was?" <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, first of all, I think uh, we are coming from an era, mm. unfortunately, where the systems, institutions of governance, mm. institutions of justice were at the mercy of uh, a few of us in society. Yes. You know, a small group of people had the privilege. Mm. You know, if you talked of SEC, you know, I I think I I was once followed by cadres for referring to the SEC as uh, River Jordan. Oh, really? Where, uh, you know, you go to cleanse the politicians in <laughs> the scenes, and when they come out of there, yeah. you know, it's all knowledge. Yeah, yes. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. You know, oh, so. wow, that's a very, that's very interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, the rule of law. Uh, and also, you know, there is uh, this issue. Uh, we just changed governments as a country. Yeah. And for 10 years, uh, the people in the patriotic front were running the affairs of the country. Yeah. And now it's in the hands of the UPND, mm. who were also too long <laughs> in, opposition. in opposition. Yes. You know, to a point where I don't think they fully, they fully grasped that they are running <laughs> the country. <laughs> so <laughs> they still feel yes. like they're fighting for power. So there's all this drama, you know, where, you know, these politicians are continuing to play their mind games, their political games, mm -hmm. you know, and testing the waters, the justice waters, <laughs> you know. So for, for me, I think uh, it's uh, unfortunate, first of all, that uh, an, an honorable yeah. member of parliament yeah. uh, should entangle themselves in... Uh, a, a criminality first of all yeah yeah because i feel it's all around crimes exactly yes the whole issue is about criminality yeah you know the the the, the actual source of the issue is the passport <laughs> you know not being not wanting to be handed back to the authorities yeah you know so wh why exactly does he not want to hand, uh, hand in the passport? Is it because of the diplomatic benefits? What, no, what of course. I mean, the, uh, you have immunity with a diplomatic passport. Oh, I think, yeah. I think we've heard allegations of uh, uh, trunks of money being ferried on, uh, uh, I don't know whether it's presidential or ministerial planes. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, yeah. you know, we've heard these allegations. Mm -hmm. We've... Uh, seen images, for example, of the former president's uh, friends together with him on, you know, mm, the mm. presidential plan. Oh, yeah. Yes. So it's, uh, it, 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 I mean, I would love a diplomatic passport. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, would, I, would, I, would, I mean, nobody would search me. Yes, they no question asked. What, how, how much... Uh, weed I'm carrying. Oh, you, know, yeah. <laughs> oh, you had to go there. <laughs> yes. they, they wouldn't know how much cash you yeah. know, I'm carrying. Yeah. And, you know, uh, it, it's all, 
the immunity that people want. Mm. There, there is power in a diplomatic passport. There is power in a diplomatic mm. passport, yes. And I, I don't know why uh, Munia Zulu thought to entangle himself in this issue, it, uh, same as Mao Sampa. Mao Sampa. These, I think these guys are a flight risk. Well, for me, to be honest with you, I look at some of these uh, uh, entanglements with the law mm. as uh, uh, predetermined. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you 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 become more famous. If you oh, spend yeah, a yeah. couple of nights in police cells, <laughs> then tomorrow... Gain some political you know, mileage. Yes. Mm, you know, I mm. think you saw the clip where Munia was telling uh, Miles Sampa that, mm. you know, don't fear the cells, you know. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you have a sense, you feel that, uh, okay, these guys are planning their own arrests. Mm. You know, they are planning their brushes with the law. So there's a very thin line between, again, the police doing their duty and yeah. them being uh, labeled as uh, political players, as being used by, you know, those in authority to target their political opponents. Yeah. Though, do you think there legitimately is a difference between the way the police handled issues in the previous no, de definitely, definitely. I mean, there is a legitimate change. Mm. Uh, I'm one of the people who, you know, experienced uh, the other side of the mm. police. Yeah. You know, I think uh, you you referred to the bush protest. Oh, yes. You, you, oh, yes. You saw how many guns were on the streets. It was serious. Yes. <laughs> uh, searching for... Are you going to disclose to us here the location of the... <laughs> oh, no, that's... Uh, that's uh, top secret. Top secret. <laughs> it will be declassified, I think, when we, our, our grandchildren have grandchildren. Yes. It may be declassified. <laughs> yeah, so political drama, mm. you know, it happens even in activism. Mm. Yeah, I'm in the activism space. Yes. Some activists plan their own arrests. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, you know. Oh, they do? That way, you know, they'll say, oh, he's being targeted, ah, they're some, targeting, ah. you know. Do yeah, you even yeah. plan you flee or things like that, mm. you know. Yeah. Have you been in trouble with the, with, the, with the law because of some of your activism works? Well, the, I've, I've, I've always been termed as anti-establishment. <laughs> you know, the, because of, first of all, the lyrical content in my music. Mm. Yeah. But uh, I also try to play by the rules. Okay. Yeah. I am a law abiding citizen. <laughs> yeah. I recently saw a picture of you in, uh, was that Germany? Ah, yeah. <laughs> which one is it? Where I was lighting a split? split. Yeah. yeah, it was in Denmark. Yeah. Oh, Denmark. Yes. SP, we'll put it up on the screen. Yes. Denmark, uh, no jail time. <laughs> no jail time. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a different feeling. <laughs> well, that's, a that, that's a whole conversation for another day. Uh, I, I have so many questions to ask you, but yes. when next you come? Yes. When next you come, I'll prepare a nice set uh, of questions for you on that subject. I think it's a white <laughs> subject we need to tackle that we do yeah. we do anyway moving forward minister of agriculture ruben mtolo piri has implored zambians to give millimil a chance to achieve its economic price by consuming other products he says this will be done through allowing other products compete with maize and millimil as an all-day meal as is seen in most households. Mr. Piri has since advised people to change their eating habits to help maize achieve its economic value and also for the purpose of achieving healthier dieting. And this is what he had to say. So our maize is hemorrhaging out to other neighboring states. Our minimum is hemorrhaging out to other neighboring states. A simple theory of osmosis, if you have got a concentration somewhere and then there's lack of concentration outside, there's going to be osmosis. So it will move from the concentrated area to the less concentrated area. That's what is happening. All right. I know he used very a very complicated explanation about osmosis mm. and concentrations and whatnot, but I believe what he is basically trying to talk about is the the recent shortages of millimil because people are selling it to uh, our neighboring countries who have experienced extreme shortages. And due to this uh, exporting of the same, we have experienced shortages here and the prices have 
skyrocketed. I believe this is what he is referring to. I don't know what you have to say concerning this uh, issue. It's a very interesting uh, statement, you know, especially coming from uh, the UPND. Mm, mm. Mm. I, I agree with him yeah. in principle. You know, I think uh, uh, our people need to diversify where diet is concerned. <laughs> you know, um, yes. yeah. For me personally, Nishima is not uh, like my favorite meal. Okay. So you know, it's something that. Uh, but uh, for many Zambians, my wife cannot do without Nishima. Oh really? <laughs> no, no, she can't. <laughs> yeah. You know, she... I. So I think we need to diversify diet-wise. Mm. But you know, it comes with uh, its own issues. Yeah. You know. Uh, the cost of other foods, for example, mm. is uh, quite high. You know, if you talk of rice now, yeah, you know, it's very expensive. Rice is expensive. Potatoes are very expensive. That's and, true. Uh, for potatoes, they are perishable. So if you need to buy them every now and then, yeah, you know, and uh, just the food basket itself, you know, it's quite high. I'm saying it's a very interesting uh, <laughs> statement because I think uh, during the PF time, yeah, there was the candolo statement. I don't know whether. Oh yes, I do. I, I remember. I remember. You know, the, <laughs> <laughs> ah, and so, it wasn't taken well. No, it wasn't taken well because of the timing. Yes. Yes. So even now, I think the timing for this statement mm -hmm. may be a bit sour for a lot of Zambians. Yeah. Let's uh, face the facts. The millimeal prices are quite high for an ordinary yeah. Zambian. Above 200 kwacha now, eh? Yes. Mm. You know, that is uh, a bit, you know. It's quite steep. It's high. And for mm. you to, you know, uh, come with clever alternatives when the people are hungry. <laughs> It's uh, the timing. It's a good statement, mm. but it's ill-timed, mm. you know. I think the teaching about diet and things like that, mm. let them come when people are... A fool. A fool. <laughs> 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 Otherwise, they won't listen. <laughs> no, they won't hear you. They will think, oh, these guys, they are politicking now because mm. they failed to stabilize the millimeter prices mm. and... You know, I mean, I don't, I can't understand Yeah. because uh, for me, I think the issue of subsidies again mm -hmm. comes in. Yeah. Yeah. I think to some extent, I know IMF does not want Zambia to have subsidies. Oh, no, they don't. And I've seen you've been doing this, uh, this, this their street talks. Street debates. Yeah, yeah street debates on, on, on the IMF. Eh? Yes. You know, it's... Uh, we should not see programs mm. that will, you know, benefit the richer bracket yeah. of people more than those in the poor bra bracket who are in the majority. Yeah. So I feel issues to do with poverty mm. may not be tackled in the best way using IMF means, mm. you know, because those are stringent measures. Already you see the price of energy, electricity. It's quite high. It's quite high. You know, we, we are talking about food prices here, milli meal, you know, mm. fuel, yeah. you know, which uh, culminates into other things, transportation, cost of business. Yes. You know, so it's, uh, for me, I believe our country has enough resources, mm. you know. I mean, it's a silly example I can give. Yeah. We, we can laugh about it. <laughs> but today, just the cannabis industry yeah. is able to sort out your IMF uh, loans and issues like that in okay. less than five years. Oh, really? Yes. You can even ask Peter Sinkamba. I think he has tabulated those things. Peter Sinkamba is the, the Green Party the Green president? Green Party president. Okay. Yes. So I, I, I don't know. I've never really understood his, uh, his manifesto. He's... Uh, well, it's a green manifesto. Okay, so uh, it, it hinges on the... On the green economy. Okay. And uh, the central part of it being uh, cannabis. cannabis. Okay. Yes, as an industry hemp, you know. Mm. Yeah, because people, when they hear cannabis, they think 
it's just smoking and things like that. No. <laughs> you know, so for, mm, for mm. people out there, when they think of cannabis, they look at your jacket, for example, ah. and you know, they think your jeans, mm, mm. you know, the canvas material, mm. your studio, you know, uh, mm, acoustic panels, acoustic panels mm, mm. you know, all those. Apparently, I, I hear from my research anyway, yeah. the only reason why it was banned in the first place is because it was competing with timber. Exactly. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that is why the statement is very, I agree with it on the other side, mm. because it in, uh, encourages people to get into high value crops. Yeah. You know, yeah, cannabis <laughs> is a high value crop. <laughs> Roses, for example, yeah. you know. You know, but we need that support. Capital is very expensive, you know. So how are people going to diversify from maize? Yeah. Yeah, because for a lot of uh, small-scale farmers, mm. myself inclusive, mm. you know, we rely on what we plant, you yeah. know, for, for consumption. Yeah. You know, so, oh, it's, uh, I thought I had muted this. <laughs> okay, no, no problem. No, it shows that we are live. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, show, it shows that we are live. It shows that we are live. Yes. And these old phones, you know, I'm a grunt. It can't, oh. it can't turn off. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll, we'll clip out a portion of this. <laughs> it's, it's like said your money is phone, eh? Oh, wow. <laughs> It's been on the pitch. <laughs> By the way, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload content. Uh, if you have uh, thoughts on what we're discussing, leave your comments in the comment section. Yes, sir. Yeah. You are. So you are high, high mm. value crops are very important. High value crops. You know, but uh, uh, the way in which we approach them, I think we need to target young people. In the whole, in, in this whole farming thing. Yeah. You know, old people, you know, are old. They will not be as productive as the youth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so we need to target the kind of agriculture that is exciting to young people. Yeah. For yeah. example, introduce quad bikes, you know, ah, with clouds. You okay. know, people okay. will be having fun riding quad bikes and they are tilling the land. Yeah. You know, so if you introduce machinery, you know, uh, apps, mm. you know, exciting apps that, you know, will determine the, you know, your crop output. Mm. All those depend on the young people. So agriculture needs to be transferred, you know, to the young people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. By the way, do you think if uh, cannabis was legalized today, uh, do you think it would make, I mean, sometimes people buy things because uh, they are deemed prohibited. Mm. You know, there's that curiosity yeah, yeah. that that fuels Very much. The, the use of a product. If it was legalized, do you think it would sell as expected? Commercially, it would sell as expected. Okay. At a very, you know, a bigger scale. That's that's when you consider <laughs> the other uses of hemp. Exactly. Uh, and apart for, from for the export purposes, med yeah. medicine. Mm. You know, mm. we have no medicines in hospitals, mm. so that would be, you know, the thing for medicine. Yeah. So it would sell. You know, at a lower level. You know the Cantemba level, mm. the prices will just go down, and yeah. people won't be interested because they will have their own plant in their backyard. Oh yeah, one or two. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. you don't need to go to, you know, mm. yeah, and and that mm. way, you know, you will remove it, you know, from the drugs. The Drug Enforcement Commission then can go out there and target the. So you, you don't consider it a drug, do you? No, it's a herb. It's a herb. It's a herb. Uh, what makes a drug a drug? Is it? D do you think it's considered a drug because of its uh, psychoactive? Well, that's that's properties. What, yeah, of course. But uh, uh, all in all, it's. Uh, I mean, what differentiates cocaine from it's the process? It's the process. Processing, yes. Okay. Yes, cocaine is processed cocoa, the cocoa plant. Wait, the cocoa plant? Yes. The same one uh, we we no, drink? No, it's. Uh, it's a poppy. It's called oh. poppy. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, so, like, do they add anything to it? It's a bud, it? like cotton. It looks like a cotton bud. Ah. Oh. Yeah. But there are no additions. 
Well, it's a process, and I, I I don't know really how cocaine is. Anyway, I need I need yeah, to do I'm, some I'm, research on. Ask me on cannabis. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that Volo, what the DC yeah. is arresting people for now. Yeah, I saw you that on is, Mr. Time Wap's case. Yes, that is not can, cannabis. That is Volo. It's just a, a hemp, you know, mm. mixed with all these teething powder, you know, other chemicals. Oh, so it's crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm. That's that's what people are consuming. Exactly. Oh, yeah. And it's working for what they want. Well, it's killing the the nation. That is actual drug abuse now. Oh, yeah. okay. And that is what we discourage. That's that's interesting. Yeah. That's interesting. I think when next you come, we need to do a a very deep discussion on this particular subject because there is so much misconception, I believe, on the same and. And the likes. Yeah. But anyway, moving forward, we have a few questions uh, to ask you. The first being, are you still doing music? Very much. Music, uh, I think I'll be doing music until, you know, you put uh, roses <laughs> on my grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever plants you put there. But uh, okay. that is my, you know. Uh, right now we are, I'm concentrated not very much in the actual performance, but in creating what makes, you know, the artist. So okay. we are creating a small studio okay. in, in Nine Miles. It's a community kind of studio. Mm. Yeah, so that's what uh, we are diversifying in uh, musically. We are also doing a live joint right there. I think if you saw the Rasta Market images, mm. yes. No, mm. it, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, that's where the joint where the event took place. Okay. Yeah, so it's a slow work in progress. Mm. And once it's done again, you will see us now doing tours and, you know, trying to produce young artists. Okay, mm. but are you looking to release any new album or anything like that? Uh, I'm, I'm looking to record a lot of music. Mm. We will release some of the, the tracks. But uh, the majority of it, I want to keep for my grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you leave them some lyrics and some uh, some the written some. Yes, okay. Oh, yes. okay. Like I, like I like like my daughter. You know, mm. these last few jobs she's had, mm. she's been doing some of my old music, which I did twenty years ago. Oh, and I refused. Oh, to I sell. think I saw her. I saw her redo one of your songs, actually. Yes. And she featured you, right? Yes. I, yes, but I don't remember what song it the was. Economic Slavery, there's ah. another one, Gun Culture. Ga yes, Gun Culture. Yes. It's a gun car. Yes. I don't know if you guys have heard, but it was a... <laughs> that song raised us. Yeah. <laughs> so mm. back in the days, I was offered to sell the rights to that music. Oh. Yeah. Okay, and you kept it. That was I a wise it. decision. Yeah. <laughs> that was a wise decision. <laughs> and... Um, this is the, the the one thing I said I would uh, talk about much later yeah. that I've always wanted to ask. Yeah. Uh, why will the revolution not be televised? Because even the cameraman will be part of the revolution. <laughs> <laughs> so there will be there will be nobody to man the station. <laughs> you have to be there, and you know, revolution mm. to me is a process. Okay. It's not an event. Okay. You know, so. Uh, and I'm glad behind you there is amazing minds. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, to change the mindset, mm. is it's a process. Yeah. So people think, ah, when we go to vote, that's it. We've elected new leaders, you know, we glory is the here. It's, it's a new dawn. Mm. Yo, it's not a new dawn. It's not even, it's far from dawn. It's still midnight, even <laughs> before midnight, you know, until, yeah. you know, the mindset begins to change. Mm. Just simple things, littering. Mm. You know, you're driving, somebody is throwing a banana peel on your screen from a bus, oh yeah, you know, and yeah. sometimes not from a bus, from a Mercedes. Oh yeah. Yes. Mm. So these attitudes are what are going to build, you know, an actual revolution. Mm. In the end, it's everybody who is involved in the revolution. Yeah, you know, okay. There, there's no passers-by, there's no witnesses. You are part of the revolution. So even the cameraman will be part of the revolution. Yes. The Therefore, he will not have, have the, time. To the station manager, you know, will be part of 
<laughs> Honestly speaking, I didn't I didn't think you answer the question that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's something you've thought about. Has anyone asked you this question before? Well, not really on an interview, but yeah. uh, it's something that I picked, you know, there's uh, from an American uh, uh, speaker, musician, uh, mm. Glenn Scott. If okay. you Google him, yeah, he, there's, there's a bit where he's talking about the revolution not being televised, you know, he has his own vision also, but mm. I thought it was quite, uh, quite amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, so I am so glad to have had you here. Uh, I am hoping you can come back soon. Anytime. Uh, I think we are, I, I have a home within the constituency. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So. Oh, oh, you see, you know, actually we thought when we were uh, contacting you, by the way, we, it, it was a bit hard to reach you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, we actually thought you were, you were near the studio. Oh. Yes. So we, we thought you're still living nearby. So we. Oh no, I just pop by once a while just to, because our old studio is still here. Oh, and, okay. Until we move there, we. Mm. Yeah, we really need to time your uh, when you're here. So we take advantage of that and have you on the show. <laughs> yeah. And I think, you know, the best person to to contact mm. is my wife or my daughter. Oh, oh really? Because I'm so terrible sometimes with the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Such that, you know, I reply to WhatsApp messages maybe uh, after three days. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> or at zero two in the morning. And, yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh. But, but I always try to respond. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, thank you so much for coming. We had Reverend Walter Mombazi here last week. Yeah, and... to you is Reverend. To me, is a buddy. <laughs> you know, we, we, ah. Yeah, we we were. I mean, we were met from childhood. Oh, okay. Yeah, when okay. He, when he was uh, doing music ciphers, the with, Uchumi Brothers, Uchumi Brothers mm, with mm. Kelvin Sampa. Ah. Yeah, to other people is honorable Sampa, you know, <laughs> all those guys, <laughs> MC Suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, if you guys are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and um, uh, hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever we put up content. That was uh, Michael Zulu, or as you may know him, St. Michael. All right. Until next time, check you all later. Bye. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.